Hi everyone and welcome back to Happy Hot Home. Today I want to show you how to tie ribbon onto a Christmas tree in a crisscross or a zigzag pattern. This is one of my favorite methods of tying ribbon onto a Christmas tree. I absolutely love decorating our home for the holidays. It is my favorite time of the year. The twinkling lights, the festive colors, the smell of gingerbread and fresh greenery, family gatherings, and making new memories with our family. Trimming the tree is also a very joyous event for me. Well, trimming trees because we have so many of them. And I love finding new ways to wrap a tree with ribbon. And it's also pretty darn fun. And I want to share all of these methods with you. So I, let's get started and I will show you how I wrapped this tree in the picture in a crisscross pattern. So for my 10 foot tree, I'm gonna need approximately 50 feet of ribbon. The ribbon I'm using is a double-sided ribbon and it's very pretty. I got it on Amazon. I'll try to find it and link it. And I used craft wire and a wire cutter. So for my 10 foot tree, I cut the ribbon into, as I said, I had 50 feet of ribbon. I cut it into five pieces of 10 feet each. Since it's a 10 foot tree, I roughly need the strands to be 10 feet long. If you have an eight foot tree, then make your ribbon eight feet long and cut it into five pieces. And then you would need um, 40 feet of ribbon. I should also mention that I believe this method works best and I like the results the best when it's on a slim tree. When it's on a full wide tree, the crisscross pattern gets wider and it doesn't look as good. So I always prefer to do this pattern on a slim tree. So starting at the very top front of the tree, take two pieces of ribbon and a piece of wire and tie the two pieces of ribbon together and attach them to a branch at the very top of the front of the tree. Then holding each piece of ribbon, tie the ribbon that is in your right hand to a branch on the right side. So go diagonally down the right and tie the right piece in a diagonal pattern, you know, just a few feet down the tree with a piece of wire onto the tree, probably about two and a half feet down. And then do the same thing to the left side, and that's what this picture is showing. And it tie it at the same equal place on each side of the tree, at the right side, about two, two and a half feet down, and then diagonally going down the left side, about two and a half feet down. So now we're back at the front of the tree. Take some more craft um, wire, and probably again about two feet down, tie the craft wire around a piece of ribbon, each piece of ribbon on the very front of the tree. Now attach the two pieces of ribbon together. So in essence, what you've done is you've created like a big diamond in the front of the tree. So tie those two pieces together, again with some craft wire, and at each point, I insert a large stem to cover all of these attachment points. And I'm gonna show you a diagram after this, which is gonna illustrate it a little bit better if you're getting confused. So hold on for that. So this is where I attach a large flower, a stem, um, and I just put it in each attachment point and it just creates a really pretty visual look. So the next step is to do the exact same thing that you did prior when you started at the top of the tree. Now you're gonna create another shape and you're gonna take the ribbon and go out to the right side 
and then take the left ribbon and go out to the left side and again tack, attach them about two and a half feet down to the tree. And then I create a bow and then I put the bow at the very, very top of the tree where all of this started. And this is a picture of the side of the tree and I did the exact same thing using one piece of ribbon because I already had that piece from the front. So I took one piece of ribbon and started at the very top and just went down in a zigzag pattern, attaching that one piece of ribbon to the existing piece that I already had. And then I put uh, the flower stems in each of the attachment points. And this is a picture of the left side of the tree doing the exact same thing. Taking that one piece, attaching it at the top and going down the zigzag pattern and adding a flower stem in at the points. So at this point, I have used two pieces in the front and one piece on each side. And as you can see, the um, tree faces the back. So the back is not pretty. Um, and I don't waste any ribbon on the back. So I have used the four piece of ribbon and then I used that fifth piece to make the bow at the top of the tree. So here's a little diagram and hopefully this makes everything a little bit easier to understand. And I showed you how I started at the top with one, one ribbon in each hand, went down the sides to the right, met in the center, went down to the right again, and met at the bottom of the tree. Okay, so here we have the finished product. Again, it is a zigzag pattern or a crisscross pattern. Very easy to do. I hope the diagram helped you. Um, and again, my tips, use a slim tree is best. And if you have a 10 foot tree, you know, cut the pieces in 10 feet. If you have a seven and a half foot tree, cut them in seven and a half feet. And I think that you will find it actually very easy to use. So um, thank you for following along on that. And now I just wanted to show you a few place setting ideas for your dining table. So hold on, don't go anywhere. So this is one of my favorite tablescapes to have in the kitchen on our dining table. I'm using three round um, candle rings and I just wrapped some lights around them, some battery operated lights around them, and I put candles in them. And they just create the prettiest glow on the table. I just love it. And I have a simple play setting with um, a placemat, a red poinsettia placemat, and then three plates, a charger, and then two plates on top of it with a napkin and a napkin ring. It's a very, very simple play setting, but it is one of my favorites. I really do like it. And this is a little bit of a closer look at it, at the play setting with the appetizer plate on top, dinner plate, charger, and a placemat underneath. So here's actually a little tip. That white plate with the fleur de lis is actually a melamine plate. So they are plates that can be used outdoors, but you know what, they're so pretty and decorative that they can also be used at the dinner table. So there's a little tip there. <laughs>